I am innocent. I am innocent and I am innocent. Fighting to clear his name, Philadelphia City Council member Kenyatta Johnson proclaims his innocence after he's charged in a pay for play scheme. Federal prosecutors say Johnson accepted tens of thousands of dollars to help some businessmen. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Jessica Cartalia. Councilman Johnson was indicted on federal charges today along with his wife, but he says he did nothing wrong. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Holden has been following this story for us, and he joins us now from South Philadelphia. Joe? Good evening, and hours after that federal indictment was unsealed, alleging that Kenyatta Johnson and his wife engaged in honest services fraud, there was something of an innocence rally at the rec center behind me. A couple miles from federal court and several hours after his indictment, City Councilman Kenyatta Johnson arrived at a South Philly rec center for what was more like a hero's welcome, clapping and chanting. And stiff denials the U.S. attorney's case would have much of an effect on his future. There is quite a lack in this indictment, and we believe that everything that's in there is the stringing together of, of matters which they've taken innuendo to turn into something that it isn't. Johnson and his wife Dawn Chaveau are identified in an indictment as supporting cast members in a just unsealed pay-to-play bribery scheme. Federal prosecutors say two business executives paid Johnson to use his power on city council to rezone properties in South Philadelphia, including the former Royal Theater. The action, it's alleged, paid handsomely for the company and its execs. Islam and Dewan paid Kenyatta Johnson by way of his wife's consulting business over $66,000 in exchange for Johnson taking official acts to benefit Universal's real estate holdings in Johnson's district. But defense attorneys balked at the case. Barry Gross told reporters Don Chaveau did nothing wrong. We are extremely disappointed that the United States Department of Justice has charged Dawn. The charges are wrong, offensive, and downright sexist. Yes, sir. Yeah. Say it. Say it. And Johnson maintains the federal investigation over five years was nothing more than harassment. I'm relieved that we're actually uh, moving forward to fight to clear uh, me and my family's name. That's first and foremost, because you have to understand um, five years of, uh, of harassment, um, five years of bullying. Johnson and Chavo do in court on Friday for their arraignment. Live in South Philadelphia, Joe Holden, CBS3 Eyewitness News. All right, Joe, thank you.